days and looking at the industry in a different way, looking at Micah in a different way. So that's the journey that we're going to be going down from that point of view. There's a book called The Purple Cow, so the elephant comes from the purple cloud. You've got to be different, you've got to be remarkable in what you do. And that's the journey that we're going to go through, It's how you become remarkable. In a world and in an organisation that is changing rapidly. As I said, you cannot play safe. Things are changing rapidly. So we're going to go on a journey. We're going to take you through a number of different steps as the journey goes through. You've got to stand out from the crowd. That's the name of the game, is we've got to stand out from the crowd. So, what does that mean? Well, the best are going to get better. Now, if the best are going to get better, as number one, that may mean we've got to change the image in front of the consumer. So, we're going to look at some new images in the next three days. How are we going to change it? How are we going to involve the consumer? So, we're going to look at some branding issues as well as just presentation issues as we go through the journey. So let's look at this journey that we're going to go through. Let's look at the big picture. Everybody wants an increased market share. But we've got to do this step by step. We've got to look at this market share step by step. So what are we going to do with this step by step? Well, number one is down to attitude. How you've got the right attitude to grow the business is the first area we're going to look at. Because if we have the right attitude, we're not going to increase market share. So the first thing we're going to look at is attitude and development of attitude. Then, the site. Yes, you have to have the right site. So we need to look at some sites and development from the business from that point of view. Branding. How are we branding MICA and how should we brand MICA in the future? So we're going to develop some branding issues and look at some branding concepts. Uh, we talked about interruption marketing and permission marketing. One of the important issues in your business, of course, is lifetime value. And what is the value of your customers? Lifetime, I'm going to go 10 years as a figure, which is the one that's normally used in the industry. It's the lifetime value. And Mike gave me some figures to play around with and look at the various sectors. And if we look at the middle, where we're interrupting marketing and we've got shoppers and customers coming into the business, there are businesses within your own group, lifetime value is about $600 at that end. Your permission marketing is Flybys, which is one of the best examples of that type of marketing in the world, and the world often case studies are used on New Zealand Flyby program. Some of your advocates up here, uh, the companies within this room, their lifetime value is Get the facts right, 3,600. <coughs> now, if there was ever an excuse for taking up the ladder, there's a good one. Now, yeah, pick up the ladder, some people are getting $600 lifetime value, and some of the guys in the room, through their flybys program, per customer over the same period of time, are getting $3,600. I'm not saying everybody in the room is doing that, there's quite a variation. And uh, Mike was saying, you know, look at some of the figures that are about 1,500, 1,600 for some people. Now, I know, again, just picking up rest of the situation, the city versus rural, etc., etc. But look at the different differentiations we're seeing in lifetime values of customers. And some of the challenges there for us is how can we get more people up there? Because that's a good value. Basically, you have the majority of your customers. The diameter of the power slot should be two arms lengths. Two arms lengths. So there's a lot of research being done on power slots. Outside of our industry, in the supermarket industry, companies pay for that space. I'm not suggesting that should happen in our industry. What I'm saying is that's how important suppliers look on the power stock. Now, let's look at some power stocks. This is a dark center in England. This was a 
in the right location for steps in the